Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, it's the end of another month. In fact, it's the end of another year. The month of December started with a trial court judge in Washington, D.C. ruling that Donald Trump is not above the law. Donald Trump is not a king. Donald Trump is subject to prosecution for crimes he committed while in office. And the month of December is ending with an appellate court poised to make the same ruling that Donald Trump is not above the law. You know, friends, if 2023 was the year of the Trump criminal indictment, let's be determined to make 2024 the year of the Trump criminal conviction. Because justice matters. Friends, here's a brief recap of the legal stories for the month that was December 2023. Well, friends, at long last, we have an opinion from the D.C. Federal Circuit Court of Appeals about whether the people who were injured at the Capitol on January 6th can sue Donald Trump for their injuries. Here is a short recap of the legal stories for the month that was November 2023. So, friends, we now have a legal opinion and ruling that Donald Trump can be prosecuted for his crimes. He does not have absolute presidential immunity. I hope you enjoy this fourth and final installment of my interview series with former Inspector General Bob Westbrooks. So friends, in Donald Trump's federal prosecution in Washington, D.C., we just got a big old incriminating evidentiary nugget revealed in a new Jack Smith court filing. Well, friends, an interesting name just popped up on the prosecution's witness list in Donald Trump's Georgia State RICO case. So friends, the Colorado Supreme Court just heard arguments regarding whether Donald Trump should be removed from the state ballot for engaging in insurrection. And now we wait. So friends, after saying that if reelected, he will be a dictator on day one. Donald Trump is now dipping a dictatorial toe into the criminal justice system pond. Danger dead ahead. So friends, Hunter Biden was just hit with a nine count federal indictment, including multiple felony counts after Prosecutors had previously agreed to let him plead guilty to just two misdemeanor counts. So friends, I'm sure you've heard by now, a federal appeals court in Washington, D.C. affirmed, that is approved of, the gag order that Judge Tanya Chutkin imposed on Donald Trump, trying to tamp down his dangerousness. It is a 68-page written ruling but we are only going to focus on one sentence. One sentence of that ruling, and it's a sentence that we are going to hold fast to. Well, friends, today was gonna be the day. Donald Trump told us that he would be testifying in his New York fraud trial. Both Trump and his lawyer promised that he was gonna take the stand. He was gonna tell everybody about the big, beautiful business he built, the Trump Organization. Nobody has ever seen anything like it before. He was gonna prove to everyone that his accounting was perfect. His valuations were very powerful. He was gonna take the stand and he was gonna rock the mic. And then Donald Trump punked out. So friends, special counsel Jack Smith has filed a pretty extraordinary motion with the U.S. Supreme Court asking the court to take up and resolve the issue right now as to whether 
a president of the United States who commits all kinds of crimes while in office enjoys absolute immunity from being prosecuted for his crimes. So friends, Donald Trump's attorneys thought that including a Dr. Seuss reference in an official court filing in a case involving Donald Trump's attempt to overturn the results of a presidential election would be appropriate, cute even. It's not. So friends, we're about to see how much a jury will order Rudy Giuliani to pay to Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman for his lies, his vicious, racist, dangerous, and defamatory lies. Well, friends, a jury in federal court in Washington, D.C. just returned a verdict that all but guarantees that Rudy Giuliani will spend the rest of his days penniless. So friends, as you already know, Judge Tanya Chutkin ruled that Donald Trump is not a king. Donald Trump can be prosecuted for his crimes. And Donald Trump has appealed that ruling. Well now, Special Counsel Jack Smith didn't respond by saying, well, not so fast. Jack Smith responded by saying, okay, let's do it really fast. Well, friends, you may have heard that lawyers Sidney Powell and Kenneth Chesbro apologized for their election crimes in Georgia. So friends, there are growing indications that the courts are rising to the challenge, determined not to let Donald Trump run out the clock so he can become a, quote, dictator on day one, as he promised. What is it that inspired you to want to go into law enforcement? Well, you know, I, look, I was raised in a in a household where I was taught, look, there's good and there's bad in the world. And those forces are colliding. And I wanted to be part of the good side. Justice appealed to me. So friends, the U.S. Supreme Court has declined to review Donald Trump's absolute immunity claim on an expedited basis. Is this necessarily a bad thing? Not necessarily. So friends, the Michigan State Supreme Court just refused to hear a case regarding whether Donald Trump's name should be banned from the Republican primary ballot in the state of Michigan. But hold on, because even in the Michigan state courts, this one is far from over. So friends, in a new court filing, special counsel Jack Smith seeks to put Donald Trump's criminal defense attorneys on a very short legal leash. And then there was Maine. Maine is the latest state to disqualify Donald Trump from the presidential ballot. Now, the states have been all over the map. Yes, I know that's a bad pun. But the states have been all over the map on whether Donald Trump's name can be on the presidential ballot, can't be on the presidential ballot. Let's try to figure out where we are on the Donald Trump disqualification front and where we might be headed. So friends, as we wait for the Donald Trump disqualification issue to hit the Supreme Court, we may actually have a pretty good indication of how one of the conservative Supreme Court justices might decide the issue. So friends, special counsel Jack Smith just filed his opposition to Donald Trump's request that the courts grant him absolute immunity against prosecution for his crimes. Donald Trump's request that the courts put him 
above the law. Let's talk about Jack Smith's opposition to Donald Trump's request. Because justice matters. Just as mad as mad as it mad.